All right, since I'm doing this video, let's also time how long it takes for me to in fully inflate the Sea Eagle Explorer. What is it? I think it's a 380. Is it a 380? 420, 420. 420X. Okay. 420X. Uh, what do we got over here? Three people or 855 pounds. Okay. I've had my entire family on that, all four of us. And it, it'll do it. Um, that is the biggest one they make. They have the Explorer, Explorer model. I forget what the other one's called, but it's smaller tubes. That one is uh, bigger, and the, it's the biggest one. I bought it for camping. Okay. Put camping gear in there. I took uh, that across. I took that in the Gulf of Mexico. Uh, camped on an island. Loaded it down with gear. I have a video on that. But um, we're going to time this to see how long it takes. I'm going to put it in uh, whatever you call it, hyperspeed, whatever it is and time how long it takes. It's been a while since I did this, so it may not be as quick because it's been a while, but let's see. Okay, I just inflated the... Uh, Sea Eagle Explore 420X. So what it was 420? Why do I keep forgetting the name? 420X. 420X. Just fully inflated it, timed it. You can see right here. 330. Three minutes 30 seconds. That's what's so great about that kai that kayak. It's easily portable, easily to Easy to uh, inflate, deflate. I haul it on that right here. These wheels right here. These wheels uh, work work great for that one. They do. I also bought that on the Sea Eagle webpage. The only thing that's missing there are the seats. I'm gonna go get the seats here in a minute. But the seats, you're talking another two minutes to put the seats in. That's it's easy, and I I do have a trolley motor for it. But um, I'll talk more about that in my full video of the comparison between all of them. But that's what it takes, man. Three minutes thirty seconds to inflate that thing, easy. All right, here's the Sea Eagle 420X, all ready to go. I just moved it over in the shade. You don't want these sitting out in the sun, okay? If you go and do your thing and you come back to your campsite, whatever, and if it is sitting in the sun, deflate it a little bit because it'll expand and you could you could damage your um your your kayak. But this is how I do it. There's two, there's two seat options. This is the one that I like right here. So you just connects to here. You have these here that connect to other little see down there to those I just didn't put them in because I'm not using it these are a lot better I like to put two of these flotation squares on here it gets me elevated a little bit I like it yes I do have a trolling motor for this yes I have used it I actually bought the the one on the Sea Eagle page, the um, they call it white. They call it the white snake. I forget what they call it. Something snake. Twenty-four thrust. It's not. It comes with the package deal. It's not powerful enough. It's not. So I got rid of that, and I have a. I have a. 35 pound thrust I believe Newport vessels it goes right here it is a little it's too it's a little heavy for it but 
it works. And it goes right here. I put the battery back there. And it works. It works good. Okay. So this is how I do it. They're in here. I have the scup the scupper. Scupper. This goes on in the back. If I could get it up here. Alright, yeah. Right there. That's where that goes. Got it all jacked up. It goes right there. And uh that's really important you want to use that unless you're doing rapids going over rocks you want to use that um, it helps a lot with uh, tracking now there's scupper holes here too look at see these scupper holes there's a ton one two three four there's another set back there or two sets up there up there okay if you're doing rapids you want to take those out to let the water drain out if you're just using it for kayaking motoring paddle whatever make sure they're closed i made the mistake once where two of them were open my entire family was in it so there was some water in it. That's what it does if you have those undone. And we, we, were, we weren't going anywhere. The water was just bogging it down. So if you're paddling, motoring, make sure they're closed. And make sure they're closed before you're on the water. Um, that's about it for the 420X. I do have some videos of it with me using it. I might try to put a link to it, but maybe not. This is just enough. But that's about it, man. 420X. Oh, wait. Here's the other. Here's the other seats. Do not like these. I do not like these. These are inflatable. I think they're good for kids. I think they're good for kids. But I don't like them. That's it.